week one on the jump training was a real success. A lot of people made big technical changes um, and good morale as well. We were really happy with how everyone committed to it. This is week two. This is uh, where it starts to get a bit more real. We've got parallel slalom coming up as an event very soon. So the guys this week are in the slalom course we've got laid out for them here. We're putting a variety of different courses on for them this week between slalom and giant slalom. Some of them have rhythm changes, some of them are on different gradients, and then some of them are a little bit more open where they can learn to almost pure carve through it. Um, but a big focus is obviously getting dynamic angles, and what's really important for them is to learn to move forwards and backwards on the skis, not just laterally across them. Um, sounds all a bit technical, but in layman's terms, if they move forwards, they get the pressure on the tip of the ski at the start of the turn, and that's what a lot of recreational skiers don't usually have the skill to do. Um, we're going to keep working through the week and developing this. I think you'll see some changes from the previous week, um, and we'll keep you updated. We're going to film quite a lot of their skiing as they go through. You might be left there with just a slightly wider stance, but that's you putting pressure on the ski when you're not normally used to. The good one there, left leg, boom, powerful. Right leg, early. Left leg, early. The rest of this course, it's your turn. Right leg, early. Left leg, early. Right leg, early. And the rest of this course shows flow. You would never have skied the bottom half with that speed if you hadn't done the top half correctly. Yeah. So that's a massive step change. Jade, how was your run? Are you enjoying the slalom? Yeah, you know, probably starting to enjoy it now, like the better I get. And yeah, that run felt just so much better, like I felt like I was turning my hips in more. So. Yeah, it uh, felt a bit quicker, did it? Yeah. Now that's the right leg slalom, what's the difference in your body shape? So everything you do when, tomorrow when you come out here, that right leg is going to be more predominant now, we're going to push the right leg through so But once you come back on this left leg, brilliant. That's angulation in the body. I really like that. It's a massive change. You're pushing it and fighting it like that is fantastic. And I'll show you the video inside, but I think you'll like what you see. Well, if you like it, I like it. Yep. Nice, Lewis. So my skiing, the slalom has got, has got a lot better by doing it slowly and understanding where to turn. Cool. So I guess we're doing well. Yeah, what did Warren say at the top to you? Warren said, remember you get on your outside foot early. Um, know where you need to turn to be able to come into the gate close um, and that's what I've just been trying to focus on. Cool, are you enjoying it? Oh, it's brilliant. That's the main it's thing. Brilliant, yeah. Cool, cool. See Thank you inside. Well. Yeah, well done. See you in a bit. Yeah. There, that's where you engage. Okay, the transport. It, it's, it's really good. It's not what you were doing on piste. But you're up on your left leg, taking it around here. The arms have changed, the arms have come in. Engaging there, coming onto your right leg. Yeah, early. See, in everything you're doing, just, just that's what I want you to see. It. You're mapping it out two or three meters above the actual gate. been a really good day of training today. The guys have got into this course we've set. Um, everybody wanted to ski it fast and try and attack it, but the real secret of today was trying to find the right line. Um, not everyone did, but most did at certain points. So we were really impressed with people's patience and the thinking man's game. A lot of people had to learn to get pressure onto a ski early in the term, almost before it felt natural to do it. Um, and a lot of people evolved their skiing technique inside the course. Jade, I mean, for someone that's between plough and parallel, she was 
she was really attacking that and you were seeing her get onto her skis so much earlier than she would do when she was on piste. Same with Robbie. When they're given so much space, it's almost like there's a bit of time to traverse in the middle of it, but they're forced into to making a turn shape. As it goes throughout the week, we're gonna just change the courses a little bit. Um, but as far as today goes, it's, it's we, we got more than we bargained for and the guys are buzzing off it, which is great.